I have another question. I know like you got, you meet millions and thousands of people every conference. What did you say? It's the reasons that some people fail, even though the formula is out there. It's like, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to show it to you. Why do you think people still fail? They, they, they don't truly commit to the outcome. They don't commit to what it's going to take. I think we're living in a world where there's everyone wants instant gratification. Mm -hmm. um, I speak to entrepreneurs every day. You know, we just had 20,000 people last week at, at our conference. Um, people come up to me going, hey, you know, you guys are doing amazing things. You're so successful and all this. I'm like, dude, that took us 25 years. Like everyone wants it in three years and it's just yeah. so unrealistic. My thing when I talk to people is go, tell me your idea. Tell me what it's like. It's like, here's what I want to do. I said, how quickly do you think you can do it? I think it's no more than five years. I said, what if it takes you 20? Yeah. And they go, oh, no, no, you don't understand. This is the, this is the best deal in the planet. I say, cool, but what if it takes you 20? Would you still do it? And people go, oh, no, nah, look, I don't know if I'll do that for 20 years. Then you know what? It's not your passion because your passion is I could do this for the rest of my life, whether I'm making 50 grand or 5 mil. That's when you know you found your passion. So why do I think people fail? They haven't truly identified their passion. If they have, they haven't truly committed to the long-term journey. They used to say that it was a 10,000 hours. Mm -hmm. You know, Malcolm Gladwell, Outlier's book, very well known for documenting.